Hi friends, welcome to our tutorials. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to install Bootstrap framework in our Angular application. For example, I'm going to use Angular 8 application, but you can use the same procedure to install Bootstrap framework in any Angular application. It's very simple. So to install Bootstrap, we can use two ways. One is to use NPM package manager to install Bootstrap, or we can also use a content delivery network via direct link in our application. In this tutorial, I'll show you both ways how to use and install Bootstrap in our Angular application. For that, open your project directory. I have this project directory, which I am continuing from last tutorial. We created an agile board project. So we'll continue building on it. So let's first navigate. You need to be inside the project directory. Remember that. So without which it will not install correctly. So first we'll see how to install Bootstrap on Angular application. So using npm. So we'll write npm install Bootstrap. So this would find the package automatically and install the latest version. If you want to install a certain version, you can also specify that. But for this example, I am installing Bootstrap and the latest version of it in our Angular application. Go ahead and let's go ahead and install it. Once the installation is done, we should see the version number that it's installed. It may take a minute or so. Let's check. In the meanwhile, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, friends, please do that to sub keep supporting me. Thank you so much. All right, so it says Bootstrap 2 is installed but we need bootstrap 4 so we can alternatively write the command npm install at the rate bootstrap so now it will tell you to fetch the latest version and install bootstrap so we should now see bootstrap 4 installed It will take a minute or so. Let's give it. Alrighty. So we have installed Bootstrap and it shows that Bootstrap 4.3.1 is installed. Alright, all good. So we have installed Bootstrap now. How we can also verify it by going to our package.json file and you should see a version Bootstrap 4.3.1 that was installed. So now that we have installed Bootstrap, a normal assumption is it's already included. It is not, my friends. So you need to go to angular.json file and we need to include the folder directory path here. One common mistake which a lot of developers do is giving a relative path. It's not that. So we need to write dot slash node underscore module slash bootstrap slash dist slash css slash bootstrap dot css i know this path or if you don't know the path you can always explore inside this node modules folder you can navigate to the bootstrap folder you can see here and we need bootstrap and under that we need dist folder under that we need css and I'm installing bootstrap.css. That's the same file here that you see here under node modules. Similarly, we need to include the JavaScript file as well. So under scripts, go ahead and include the same path for the JavaScript file. Again, this slash js slash bootstrap.js. That's it. Save the file. Now, how do we know it's correctly loaded? You can go back to the app project folder, go to HTML file. I'm going to delete all of this and I'm going to use a H1 tag here, simple. And I'll say, welcome to bootstrap framework. And now I'm going to use a class bootstrap framework class. Uh, let's give a use a simple one, bg hyphen primary. So this is one of the existing CSS utility class that is provided 
which will put a background color to our heading. Now let's run the app to see it in action. Just do ng serve to start your Angular application and we should see our CSS class applied using Bootstrap. So this is a simple way. This is one of the ways in which you can install Bootstrap in your Angular applications as if you want to include it as part of your package.json. All right, so we have our application up and running. Let's refresh. So you will see that the background color has been applied. So far, so good, beautiful. So we just learned how to install Bootstrap framework in our Angular ap application. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install material design framework in our existing Angular application. Stay tuned for that. As you always, please do subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have any doubts, queries, please uh, drop your queries or questions in the comments below. I'll provide you free help and advice. Thank you so much for joining in this tutorial. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.